So people generally need a joint replacement surgery when they find that they can't do the activities that they would like to do. And that can be even just walking. People have difficulty with walking, going up and down stairs. Um, sometimes it's just the things, you know, bending down to be with their grandchildren. And in the joint replacement, we replace the parts of the bone that have the arthritis or are affected by whatever condition the person has, where the cartilage just wears away and you have bone. So you're bone on bone, and that's a very painful condition. With the joint replacement, we remove that bone that is touching the other bone, and then you have a smooth surface again, and you can really go back to all the activities that you were doing before, pretty much. Hip and knee replacement surgeries have been um, done for decades, and every year we get better in terms of research and innovation, in terms of executing the surgeries, in terms of the materials that are used, uh, and this just translates into improved or increased survivorship of these implants. Robotics have many benefits in terms of hip and knee replacement. Uh, the benefit I love, or what I appreciate most, is the enhanced surgical planning associated with robotic surgeries. It is very precise and it's tailored for each specific patient. So everyone has slightly different bony anatomy and we do get a CAT scan beforehand to really map that out and the computer takes that information and designs the joint replacement for each individual patient. The precision with robotics and the uh, real-time information I get about the soft tissue tensioning and balancing of the hip and knee replacement leads to reduced pain post-op, reduced opioid consumption, reduced blood loss, a better function, and this ultimately leads to overall patient satisfaction. I think the MAKO robotic system is really great new technology that really helps us make good decisions as surgeons on how to do the surgery. And it is very exciting that we have it here at Cambridge Health Alliance. Uh, there are hospitals in the area, many hospitals that do not have it. And so we really have the latest technology to help our patients. When I, I see a patient for the first time with debilitating arthritis of the hip or knee that eventually decides to undergo hip or knee replacement. And when I see them back in two or three months and they're pain free, that, that really, really excites me. And it, it makes me feel good about what I'm doing as a surgeon.